My name is Dr. Michael McNamara. Earlier in my career, I was a general surgeon, actually trained in surgery in, in the United States before I became a preventive doctor, which is what I practice now. But the good thing about doing this type of training with general surgery is the daily activity is to create scars and to help them heal better. So the daily activity is to cut. Obviously, we cut the skin with a, with a scalpel, with a knife. Now they're using other things such as laser. But back then for general surgery, for example, you have to use a scalpel, you have to open the skin. And the skin, once the operation's finished, has to be sewn back together and it has to heal. If it doesn't heal correctly, it can leave evidence where the surgery occurred. This is called a scar. Now, it doesn't have to occur with surgery, of course, but being a surgeon gave me great experience with wound healing, with scar reduction, what measures we can apply to make the scar less apparent, maybe non-apparent whatsoever. This is called plastic surgery, of course. So what I learned was diet, exercise, topical substances are all very important for the prevention of scar tissue. Now, genetically, we're all different. Some people have a tendency to make lots of scar tissue. And in fact, when the skin goes back together after a surgery, for example, or after an accident, the scar can be very exuberant. It can be actually too much scar production, and sometimes it's hard to hide the evidence of the scar. But I did see that in some patients, or many of my patients actually, there are topical creams and ointments and, and preparations that can actually be applied to reduce the appearance of the scar, to not only reduce how apparent it is visually, but actually to reduce physically the volume of the scar. 